let's take a closer look at the details of the model we have created. Each object in our model can have its own parameters that define how it will handle the material that is flowing through our production environment. For example, if we right-click on our first single proc and select Open, we have access to all the features that represent this particular station. Here we can control things like processing time, setup, failures, exit strategy, and so on. Currently, we see that this object here has a processing time of one minute. We can also define setup time, recovery time, and cycle time. If we select the drop-down list for processing time, you will see that there are four basic methods for defining our processing time. We have the default constant, and then there are mathematical, formula, and list-based methods too. For now, we'll just stick to a constant processing time of one minute. If we select the exit strategy, we will see that we are currently at the default of cyclic. Open the drop-down list, and there are up to 19 control strategies available to help you match your digital model with your real environment as closely as possible. Let's cancel this dialog box for now. There are other things to note as the simulation runs. You may have noticed this series of colored dots that are flickering above our objects. These are real-time status indicators that tell us how each object is performing. Green equals working, yellow blocked, gray waiting, and red failure. These give you a feel for how things are running at a high-level glance. While the simulation runs, we can even check up on our drain to see how many parts have been produced. We can either right-click and select Open, or just double-click the drain object. Once open, we can select Type Statistics and see that we have had a total throughput of X units since we started our simulation. That further translates to a throughput of 60 per hour or 1440 per day. Plant Simulation is one of the only systems that allows you to quickly understand your material flow better through the Bottleneck Analyzer. You can even utilize the Bottleneck Analyzer while your simulation is running. There is no need to stop the simulation and recode anything. Just select the Bottleneck Analyzer from the Tools tab and drop it into your worksheet. Once placed, you can right-click the Bottleneck Analyzer and select Analyze. We immediately see a series of charts appear with each of our objects. These charts provide a much more detailed analysis that starts going beyond the simple status indicators we discussed before. Now we can see the actual levels of working, blocked, waiting, and failure time for each object. Okay, so to this point, we have seen how we can quickly create a digital model to represent our production environment. We've also seen some of the basic parameters and analysis capabilities. But now it is time to bring a little further sense of reality to our model so that we can do some comparisons. Let's stop our simulation for now.